Hello everyone and welcome to a Farming Sim 22 tutorial. Today we are talking about sugar beets and sugar beet cuts. If you're here to see what tool to use for sugar beet cuts, let me talk about that really quick. It is this front loader attachment here. So if you go to tools, front loader tools, and go way to the end, it's this Ruby 2000. Um, and it tells you right here that it'll cut into sugar beets. And you attach that to a front loader and turn it on like that and then you'll just put sugar beets into it or scoop sugar beets up and then it'll grind them out and uh, they'll fall out below. So we will look at that later in the video. I just wanted to get that um, first thing since that is new to Farming Sim 22 and a little kind of difficult to find. Going all the way back to the beginning, let's look at sugar beets. So to plant them, we can look at the calendar here. We have sugar beets in March or April and then they are harvestable in October or November. And you use a planter to plant. So if you go to planters here, you'll see the symbols down here, corn, sunflower, soybean, there's the sugar beet symbol and cotton. So go ahead and buy any of those. And then you fill it up just like anything else. You can go here, buy your seeds, roll up next to it. I'll get the controls up, refill cedar, and there you go. And then the last thing, make sure you actually select sugar beets. So you'll see in the top left, I have select seed corn. So I hit Y until it says sugar beet. And in the bottom right, you'll actually see this sugar beet symbol is selected. So let's go over to the field that I've already prepared by cultivating it. And with a planter like this, you can see I'm carrying it with this attachment just because it's easier. But then when it comes to actually planting, you will want to detach and go to the correct attachment, which is right here in the center. And then you will unfold it and plant just like you would any other crop. So there we go. I can unfold it. I have the correct seeds selected. I've already prepared the field. I can lower it, turn it on, and then run over it. And you'll see the seeds in the bottom right are slowly going away. I did not put any fertilizer in it, so you don't see that happening. Um, but you've refilled the fertilizer just like you do seeds. You just got to buy solid fertilizer. And you can see I've already planted most of this field uh, to get ready for the video. So let's go ahead and skip to harvesting season. All right, so we have skipped forward to harvesting season. And if we look here at the growth stage, uh, we have this orange, which is to remove foliage, and that's the same with potatoes, where you have to remove the tops of these things before you can harvest them. So there's three different harvest setups for beets. If we go to tools, there is the one that connects to your tractor, and that is these two here. So this front one will remove the tops, and this back one will actually harvest from the ground, and that is what I have here. So I've already unfolded it, so we'll lower the header, turn on the uh, both machines, and you'll see this front one is removing the uh, foliage there. So now that is harvestable. I'm not sure why it just did that. And then the back one will actually pick it from the ground, pick it up from the ground. And so you can just run across like that, and you'll see that the conveyor belts will work, and the sugar beets will start to come out there. And then from here you can hire a worker and get a trailer to come um, unload or you can take this to a trailer and unload just like you would any other harvesting uh, any other crop that you harvest so if I can try to get around nicely it should unload and there we have sugar beets ready to go the other two uh, harvest setups this one here are uh, is in two different pieces so the first piece is under vehicles and beats and you have these two yellow ones here but those need a header which is under tools beats and those are the headers there uh, they work with all of them and you just couple them like you would a regular harvester and header and then unfold everything and it'll work the same way it just works a little better. And then the last one, the easiest one is under vehicles. It is this red one and that is all in one. So if I skip to it, you can see that it's just one machine. There's no separate header. And again, 
you turn it on and it'll be the same thing. And then we can get our, uh, we could get our trailer and drive up to it and it'll unload just like anything else. What I'll show you next is how to create pallets if you want. You can do this with potatoes too. Under belts, there is this grim uh, machine that says it'll create pallets for you. And what you do is load it like a trailer. And so I got the worker working, so the pipe should come down automatically and fill this up. Now you don't have to do this. In fact, I recommend not working with sugar beets this way uh, because I think dealing with pallets is way more difficult than just dealing with loose sugar beets but I figured I would show it in case you were interested. So now that I have this loaded I can take it to where I want to create the pallets and hit B for enable pallet creation. It'll pop out and then um, it will go ahead and fill it. Don't I recommend not creating it and moving because then it kind of becomes a pain but that'll fill it up and then if I have more sugar beets I can drive forward and it'll just do it again and it'll go until I disable pallet creation. And then if we actually look, so I'll disable so it stops, uh, it'll fill it up but it won't create any more pallets. Now I have 1000 sugar beets per pallet and now you'd have to get a front loader with a pallet fork and you'd have to carry them to wherever you want them and I think it's easier just to use trailers but that is up to you. Now let me throw some beets on the ground and we will look at a couple other tools. Okay, so what I did was I just unloaded a mound of beets in case this is uh, one way you want to store your root crops is just in piles, which is something you can do. Under vehicles and beets, way at the end, there's this one that says it collects sugar beets from the ground and tips them into trailers. So we'll take a while to unfold. But then uh, what it'll do is exactly what it says. It will sort of uh, suck up the beets. So we will turn it on and then you'll see this pipe coming out. It'll unload it from there and then you can unload it into your, your belts to create pallets or your trailer or what we're going to look at is unloading it into the uh, sugar beet cutter. So we'll lower it, turn it on and you'll see it starts to suck it up. And luckily it won't go anywhere uh, unless you put something under it. So again, you can do whatever you want. So now let's look at sugar beet cuts. So with this machine, um, I just have that Ruby 2000 I showed at the beginning on the on a front loader. And then you can scoop up sugar beets like so. So now I have some sugar beets in here. And then you could probably put this over like a tipper so that it goes somewhere or you can just create a pile on the ground. Also, it does get heavy, so I recommend probably putting a weight on the back. And then you just turn it on, and there are sugar beet cuts. So again, I would recommend probably putting this over a trailer first, but that's one way to do it. Uh, I'm gonna turn it off, because you can also do this. Uh, again, I could drive by the harvester and do this, or I can just do this, and it'll unload if I drive correctly just like you would a trailer. And now I have sugar beets. So I could take these, I could go put these in that trailer, I could do whatever I want, or I could turn this tool on and get more sugar beet cuts. Again, you can always just dump these out uh, to kind of play around with them. And then if I wanted, I could pick up my sugar beet cuts into this as well. And do what I want with them and we'll look at that here after this. So that is how you get sugar beet cuts. So now what do you do with all this stuff? So with sugar beets obviously one thing you can do is uh, turn them into sugar beet cuts. You can also store them in a grain silo uh, like one of the train silos. Hopefully I didn't block me here. So we're just going to get both here. So I showed it on the potato video. I won't show it for this one just for length of time. But if you go to one of these uh, train elevators here, you can actually store potatoes and sugar beets in those and you overload it just like you would a silo on your farm. It's just that silos on your farm won't accept beets or potatoes. You can also feed your pigs. 
So if you go to the pigs here and go to the food, you just unload it like you would any other food and it will fill up the root crops section here and you can see here under root crops potatoes and sugar beets so you can give them one or both of those it'll fill up the same meter you can put it into the production chain so if we go to construction menu and production we need to find the sugar mill and you'll see it takes sugar beet cuts and sugar beets so let's go ahead and buy this and drive over to it. And we'll look, uh, you'll unload it like you would anything else. So I'll unload it with a little bit of cuts and beats. So you should be able to just dump this in here and it'll disappear. Or I could unload the sugar beets the same way. I go here and overload. And then if we go to look at the menu, you can either do it from the building like you would other production chains, or you can do it from the main menu under uh, production chains here. We'll find our sugar mill. And you'll see that it takes 500 sugar beets to make 250 sugar. Or here's the slight advantage for sugar beet cuts. It'll take the same amount to make 300 sugar. So you'll get a little more sugar for the same amount. And if you wanna use those and make sugar, you just have to activate them and then you can see every uh, hour it'll run twice, uh, two cycles of each. Um, and then the pallets of sugar will appear right there. And that should be everything you do with sugar beets. Again, I don't recommend using the pallets. Um, don't think that you have to do it that way. I just showed it for the video. I think working with loose sugar beets way easier than that. So hopefully that video helped. Hopefully you learned something. Like, subscribe, comment below if you want to. And if you have a question, and of course, have yourselves a very nice day.